As you can see, I've been hard at it. I haven't recorded every one, but this is uh, February 28th, I believe, and this is my second tray of peas uh, going in. The first uh, peas that I planted five days ago are already coming up. My onions are up. My parsley's up. My sweet potatoes doing great. I've already pinched off a few starts to put in water. Over here today, I also planted. Uh, what did I plant? Broccoli and cauliflower. And generally, you don't plant those side by side, but there's actually some space between them. That is the arrow garden that I videoed the last time. You can see stuff's already coming up in there. And this is figs that I planted from cuttings last fall. Now, I've actually started this intro for another reason. To show you how quickly seeds sprout inside for one. But today, I'm going to be building the grow light stand that I promised I was going to grow. The grow light stand cost me $10 in material from Lowe's. I picked up two five foot half inch schedule 40 PVC pipe, one five foot one inch schedule 40 PVC pipe, two one inch tees and two half inch elbows and let me show you how we're going to put that together i forgot one other thing you're going to need is something to cut the pvc pipe with so if you don't have a pvc pipe cutter or a hacksaw or a drywall saw or something like that you can pick these up at lowe's and i bought this one 15 years ago and it was probably only a couple bucks and it's lasted this long so you'll need one of those too now the first thing i did was i put the one inch pipe up and made a line just slightly longer maybe an inch longer than the uh, light that's going to serve as the foot of the stand You'll need two of those. The next thing I did was I created another line that goes from the table slightly below the top of my highest dome. That's going to serve as the end stand and you'll need two of those. Next, you need to cut your PVC on those lines that you made. And then we're going to use that to serve to measure, to measure the next piece. These don't have to be perfectly the same size, they just need to be close. So this is the second foot. I'll save you the time to have them watch me cut that. Once you have both of the feet cut, you do the vertical. You need two of those too, so cut the first one off, then use it to measure out the second one. So at this point, you should have your two one inch tees, your two half inch 90s, your two five foot pieces of half inch pipe, your two feet, your one vertical, 
and I already measured to cut out another vertical. I don't know if you can see it there. Line right there. So we're going to cut our second vertical. When that is done, we also need to cut these two feet in half. So let me go ahead and do that, and I'll bring you back. All right, so I went ahead and marked these, or labeled them. There's my two verticals. These are my two feet. The next thing you want to do is find the center of your feet, measure the distance, divide it by two, put you a line. You're going to cut both the feet on the center again. I'll bring you back as soon as I have that done. Alright, so now I got my four feet, which is a two feet cut in half. I got my two verticals. Next thing you're going to do is take your T and put on one of the feet. And this might be a little harder than you think because the pipe's going to be swelled up from cutting it if you use the same kind of cutter I got. See it? I could actually go get a knife and trim that burr off, but that big of a deal. There's the second one. Then your vertical goes in the other part of the pipe. Alright, so when you're done, now you've got like something like this. You got two of them. So the next thing you're going to do is measure how high you want your light stand to be. And what I'm going to go by is the distance um, with the lights on their included chain. Half inch pipe, the T, put it all the way down in there, as far as it'll go. Hold it up against there, take your light, set it up the distance you want it to be at, just kind of eyeball it, ain't got to be perfect. So, I've kind of marked with my finger where I need to cut this pipe. So this is the mark I put on the pipe for my height. I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Then I'm going to make sure I got two of them the same length. So I'm going to go ahead and line them up. Mark the pipe again. The other one. That's too long. Now I'm going to cut that end off. Alright. At one end of your half inch pipes, put one of the 90s on each one. Just like that. Do the same on the other one. Now we're actually ready to go ahead and put it together.
Then you take your remaining piece of half inch pipe, the one that's left over the full part, and you put it in the 290s at the top. Then it's just a matter of hanging your lights up there. I'm just using some wire that I had laying around for now. I'll probably do a better job some other time. And it just happened to be that those two lights had hooks on them. And I've got another fourth light to go over the other one that also has a hook. Okay, so this is where it's going to get a little confusing. What you can do is on the half inch pipe, the half inch vertical, you can drill some holes that are in there, space every two or three inches apart. And that allow, will allow you to raise and lower the pipe. And then you can stick a nail or something in those holes to keep it at the height you want it at. Let me show you what I mean. So you could probably raise those lights up a good foot or so. Um, if you needed more height. As always, thank you for watching. God bless you. God bless your family. God bless your homestead. And this is how it looks with all four lights hooked up. If it wasn't for having the red cups between these two sets of trays right there, I'd have enough room for another tray on this end. So that worked out pretty good.